Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione. Good evening to you. Let's talk about more rain. Great, just what we want to hear. It seems like we're talking about this every weekend. Well, here it comes. Overnight starts to move in and this may actually follow some freezing rain or a wintry mix uh, up there in uh, central Massachusetts along the Mass Pike, even into portions of Worcester County. So if you have travel plans that take you north of Rhode Island into central or western Massachusetts or even into northern Connecticut overnight through tomorrow morning, keep in mind there could be some icy spots as this precipitation gets started. So just uh, be mindful of that. We are expecting to keep it a, a liquid event here for our area, although you never know. You know, northern the northern hills... Up in Rhode Island, sometimes it only takes a little elevation to even produce a little bit of freezing rain up in those parts. So just use some caution there. But again, it's plain old rain for the most part. It falls heavy at times all the way through tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And you can see this is kind of tough to shake tomorrow. Um, one in the afternoon still, the potential of some showers. A few of those could be heavy. And even a slight chance, actually, of a thunderstorm, although that's not too likely. And then into the 5, 6 p.m. hour, I still think we'll have some patchy drizzle and showers around, even though it might not be raining in buckets the entire time. Same story tomorrow night. Along with this, we'll probably get some patchy fog moving into the area, and some of that could be quite dense. So when we add up the rain, we're talking maybe a half an inch to around an inch. Of course, in these situations, you can always have some overachievers. So some minor flooding is possible for rivers like the Patuxent and Cranston, the Pocketucket and Westerly, the usual suspects. You know, we've just had so many um, rainstorms lately, it's tough to get those river levels down. Let's get into the really important part of the forecast. This is the Patriots forecast. If you are tailgating, yes, you want that Pat's poncho or the rain jacket because, because you'll be uh, dealing with the showers, temperatures in the 40s. Now, by 4 p.m., I do think we'll start to uh, approach the 50s. We may even get to the 50s a little sooner than that. And then for the fourth quarter, you can see the chance of some drizzle fog. At least the temperature won't be brutally cold, but... Again, while I'm not forecasting a washout and I'm not forecasting it to come down in buckets for the entire game, I would plan on at least the chance for some of those showers and some of that drizzle to linger into a good part of the game. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about the winds. There could be some strong gusts tomorrow along the coast, 30, 35 miles an hour, anytime from the morning into the afternoon or even the evening as that system pulls away. Um, right now, we're not overly concerned about power outages or anything like that. For inland spots, you may never get to very strong wind gusts at all, um, but we'll obviously keep an eye on that as well. Thanks for watching. We'll be updating you throughout the weekends and talk about some colder temperatures that will eventually get here uh, towards the middle of next week. But Monday actually looks pretty mild, another day in the 50s. We'll see you.